G'day. Just want to show you a couple of things about the service client portal uh, where you go and submit uh, a support request that sort of thing. So I wanted to touch on what's happening with the knowledge base. So we've actually implemented now a new part of this uh, particular customer portal area and it's called the knowledge base. And what the knowledge base allows you to do is it allows you to search for certain things that we put up there which are going to be things that we believe might be helpful for you. It also does another thing as well. It'll actually do a, a word search on the knowledge base items uh, based upon the uh, request that you submit. So let's go have a look. So firstly when you get to the home page, so you go to service.autosoft.com.au, you'll come up with the knowledge base and you can actually search for it. Now at the moment we've only just implemented this, there's a dozen uh, articles that are in the particular knowledge base but uh, we plan on expanding that and uh, continue to expand it over time. So if you click on the knowledge base you'll see that there's these dozen articles that come up. And then we've got a whole lot of different things. So if you scroll down, you probably can't see down here below the screen, but there's uh, a number of different things in there, how to do certain things and certain particular uh, d requests that we get and things that you might need to ask you know, time and time again. So we want to put those on there so that you can help yourself and that you can get the information you know, without necessarily getting in contact with a customer service representative. The other thing that this does is if I go and submit a request, if I type a subject and I put in say smart text for example and I press tab from there, what it does is it pulls up the any related topics. So you can see here this says the smart text option to save time in typing. So if I click on that, what that will do is that will go directly to the uh, the, the, the knowledge based article about that. And so and this has got, you know, do you always do this and watch this video. So we go to this link and it, it will then run you through the video on the particular thing that we, uh, you know, that we're asking about. So, if it's if we go back here and we say, you know, I need a new key, right? If I press tab there, it says, how do I get a temporary key? You know, and a couple of other things. But of course, it will be the temporary key thing. And if I click on that, it'll open up the um, the knowledge base article item. So it'll go through the, the the process that you need to do that. So I just wanted to show you that because it's an important part that it's it's going to be uh, allows you to search for those sorts of things, or it does an automatically automatic search as you're submitting a, a request. So I just go back to the knowledge base. Um, there, there's a couple of areas in the knowledge base as well. So you can come in here and, and go and search and look at them directly. Or as we've just seen, you can see that it pops up as you're submitting a request. So we'd like to expand on this and add more and more and more things as time goes on. And uh, we hope that we provide a lot of value to you in this area. And so that you can be more empowered to get the value out of the system and to be able to answer your question in the quickest and easiest possible way. So I hope you find this is valuable and uh, good luck. Thanks guys.